We're expecting to hear closing arguments from prosecutors who have been laying out their case as to why Dylan Roof should receive the death penalty for his crimes. At the beginning of the sentencing phase of this trial, prosecutors said they promised emotional testimony, and that's certainly what we heard from relatives of all of the people slain at Emanuel AME Church. Dylan Roof did give an opening statement in this case, so we assume that he will make some sort of closing argument, although he didn't put up a case in his own defense. He's his own lawyer. He gets to call those shots. So we don't know if he's going to actually say anything to close out to the jury or not. The monumental nature of these crimes and the effect that they had not only on Charleston but also on the world um, is something that is still in the minds of a lot of people who have been paying attention to this case. Nine black people slain in their church, the place that they loved, the place that they felt safe, a white man on trial for the crimes. It tugged at a lot of people's emotions. Hate crimes are obviously extremely serious, and the, this is being the first time that someone has gone on trial um, in a death penalty situation for those. Um, it's something that can't be ignored. What also can't be ignored is the fact that many of the relatives of the people who died in Emanuel Church went to Dylan Roof's first court appearance and expressed forgiveness. They expressed mercy. They said they were praying for him, um, and they were praying for his soul because being very God-fearing people, um, they believe that he will face the ultimate judgment, not on this earth, but in the next. Um, all of those things come together in this trial, and to say that it has been emotional um, and very heart-rending at times would be a, a big understatement. It's huge. With this federal trial and with the verdict and sentencing to come, maybe that'll be the first phase of closure for the families that have been living with this now for more than a year and a half.